Hello, hello. We're just getting started here at recipe of the day. It is episode 96 today. We are on countdown to 100 episodes of recipe of the day. We are excited to be here today at our regular time, same bat time, same bat channel. And here we are. We are in the full holiday spirit. How do you like today's version? of our Christmas sweater today. Check that out. Isn't this cute? Because guess who's coming to town? I know. Awesome is that. So we have a fun thing on deck today that I've been trying to make for a couple weeks, um, but it kept getting moved forward. So today we're going to be making a couple yummy things. It is officially gingerbread season. So we are going to be making our own gingerbread spice because, you know, I like to make my own. We've made our own taco spice here on the show. We've also made our own um, pumpkin pie spice for our pumpkin month in October. And since I just ran out of that and used the end of that on our Thanksgiving squash casserole that was delicious. Oh, my goodness. Um, we're moving right on to gingerbread spice. We are going to be making chocolate gingerbread today. OMG, how yummy does that sound? I know, killer, huh? Um, but first, we're gonna make our own gingerbread spice because I always recommend you make your own, then you can make it however you like it, if you like it with a little bit more ginger or a little bit more cloves um, or whatever you like. So let's get started and make a little um, gingerbread spice here. And I have, look, I have my funnel in my little jar ready to go here for my spice. Um, hey, Han, how are you? We're starting off with our gingerbread spice. And actually, you know what I think I should start with is my recipe because I want to get my butter me uh, melting. So hold that thought. I'm going to start here with uh, melting of um, our base of our, gi our gingerbread. So I'm going to turn my pan on here. I've got one to make the gingerbread in, and then I've got one to make our glaze in. So into our pan, I'm going to put uh, 12 tablespoons, I know, 12, of butter. Because, you know, what's not good with at least one stick of butter? <laughs> so let's start there. So we've got one in there. And I'm going to put uh, some of this in. A little more, so 12. Because one of these, how many tablespoons is one of these? Who knows? Do you know, Head? Your test of the day? I'm going to need one more stick of butter, too, when I get ready to make glaze there, director. Okay. Butter in the pan. To that, I'm going to be adding two-thirds of a cup of uh, brown sugar into our butter. And to that, this is the fun part. I always wanted to do this with you guys here because what's not fun about corn syrup? <laughs> so let's do this corn syrup together. We're going to do two-thirds of a cup of corn syrup and two-thirds of a cup of molasses to make our gingerbread. So, oh, don't want the other side. Even though this was a metric re uh, recipe. So there we go. Get it right there to two thirds. So two thirds of a cup of corn syrup going in. Oh my gosh. Yum! I have my handy dandy little mini spatula here. Oh good. I didn't even miss the pan there. How about that? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yum! Okay. And then we're going to do two-thirds of a cup of molasses. Make sure I get everything on here. Hey, Erin, how are you? We are making chocolate gingerbread today, and we are going to make our own gingerbread spice is what's on deck for today. Just want to make sure I get these measurements right. So in here, we're going to do two-thirds of a cup of molasses. Now, this recipe called for Moscovo. Moscovo, hold on. Muscovado sugar, which is a smoky brown sugar. Um, I didn't have it on hand, so since we are COVID cooking around here, um, I'm just substituted with brown sugar, dark brown. I always use dark brown. I'm in by light brown. Um, I always use dark brown. And do you know what makes sugar um, brown? Anyone know? Hey, Wendy, how are you? Welcome. We are making chocolate gingerbread today and our own gingerbread spice. So I'm just putting our molasses in here. Looks like it's, I got the end of the bottle there. So there we have two thirds of a cup there of our molasses. And I will get that in the pan here. So in our pan, we have butter, brown sugar, corn syrup, and the molasses. And we are gonna let that come together and let the sugar dissolve. 
And I'll turn that up a hair. Oh my gosh. Yum! Get that going. I'm going to do it fast, but I don't want to burn it, so <laughs> there's a fine line there. Okay, so now, um, make sure I got everything in there that I need. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Please call me. I want to catch up, girl. I'm making chocolate gingerbread t t t t today, and I just am working on the Christmas cards today. If you know, our Christmas card list is very grande. But, um, Elizabeth, I just did your mom's Christmas card this morning, um, so I'm sending you lots of love, and especially her. Um, hey, my sister. I know. Hey, Rhonda, baby. How are you? Yes, my sister got it right. It is molasses that makes the sugar brown. Yes, of course, the baker got there. We are making chocolate gingerbread. Just want to make sure I got everything in the pan there. We got butter, the sugar. Oh, two tablespoons of white sugar that I have measured out already going in. And then our brown sugar, the corn syrup, the uh, molasses, and then we're going to put our spices in. Ooh. So we have, uh, we're, we're, we're going to make our own spice today too, but for the recipe I'm going to use the individual spices because we haven't made our spice mix yet. And I definitely want to get my mix right um, on the gingerbread so it has the perfect spicy flavor. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. Got all my peeps on my Instagrammers. I think that's Aaron on there too. Aaron, are you watching me on both? Um, so let me get them here, if I can get them all in the right amounts here, because we want to make our gingerbread um, amounts be perfect. So one teaspoon of cinnamon, let's start with that. How are you all today on this beautiful Wednesday? Oh my gosh, we walked on the beach the other day at, su at sunset, because you know, isn't that what all romantic couples do? You take long walks on the beach? Well, we actually took one the other night and happened, we tried to get there in the morning, we didn't get there till sunset, you know how that goes, um, but boy was it beautiful, and took some video, oh my gosh, that was the, I think it was the day before the full moon, oh my goodness, are we lucky to live in such a gorgeous place, yeah, the sweater's cute, huh, I love this one, it is the season, he's coming to town, have you been naughty or nice this year, uh, cloves, quarter, a uh, teaspoon of cloves. Got all my things out here. <laughs> so I can get them uh, in here. I'm trying to think and talk and measure at the same time. It's not as easy as it looks on TV. <laughs> so a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Um, a little bit of cloves goes a long way for those of you that have made a ham and put too many on there. Don't ask me how I know that. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Cloves, cinnamon, ginger, two teaspoons of gingerbread, because of course it is gingerbread, right? So I think I have one open and one not, so that one is not. I had to, I spot a backup just to make sure I had enough. So we are doing two teaspoons of uh, ginger. Make sure I get these right, because these are all pretty strong spices, so I don't want to get them in the wrong order here. So two teaspoons of ginger, and we're going to put that in our spice mix too. So we've got our cloves, cinnamon, ginger, and that is what we're going to stir that up. Oh my goodness, because that looks delish. Oh my gosh. The sugar is melting in there, just getting it to dissolve. It needs a couple of minutes more. I think I'm going to whisk that a little a little bit too. Okay, so now I'm going to make my dry ingredients and um, before I do that I'm going to show you here I have a two tablespoons of water, it's warm, and they want me to put the soda in there to dissolve the soda in the water. So we will do that next and it is, this is baking soda and it calls for here one and a quarter teaspoons. So we will put that in here one and a quarter teaspoon, so then dissolve it in water. There we go. So we'll let that do its thing there while we are waiting for our sugars to dissolve. And now, yes, dear, okay, directions. Now, I'm going to do our flour, and I'm going to um, use our handy dandy tool here, our sifter, not necessarily for the flour 
per se, but for the, um, till I want to sift the cocoa because the cocoa powder can get lumps and I don't want lumps in my gingerbread. So I'm going to sift it. So I'm going to grab a bowl here to sift it into. So let me grab that real quick. So here I have one and three quarters cups of flour. I'm going to put it in our sifter here. You know, I gave away the sifters on the show on Saturday, or maybe the week before that, the show before that. They run together, you know, 96 shows. Okay, so I'm going to sift that into here. So while we're sifting, what's your favorite way to make gingerbread? The other recipe I found that looked delicious was thin, crispy gingerbread men. Oh my gosh, it looked good. Yummy. Of course, I like big, fat, thick molas molasses ginger cookies too. Um, but the uh, thin ones, you know, I like them thin too. Oh, by the way, Friday, just so you can plan, is National Cookie Day! It is a national holiday in my life because, you know, I am the cookie person, cookie girl, and uh, love cookies. So what is your favorite cookie? Send me your messages and your DMs and we will make a cookie on Saturday. We have a special guest coming on Saturday. So we have the ultimate baker that has professional experience since we had three cookie stores in Washington, D.C. Uh, back in the day. We have done a lot of things, but that's one of them. But our master cookie maker will be here on Saturday. So if there's anything you would like to see her make or do, um, we can do do that. And I'm going to hand this project off to my crew here and let him finish this while I continue on here. There you go. Just keep sifting that. Okay. You know, this all looks good already. Um, okay, so we've got our wet ingredients in, in the saucepan going away there. And then we're going to... Um, we're doing our talking about chocolate chips. Okay, so I am going to start here while he's finishing that up for me with our um, spice mix. So we're going to make our own gingerbread spice mix. You can put this in your pancakes, your waffles, you can put it in your coffee. Um, it would be delicious. Uh, and a little bit of holiday cheer that you could just sprinkle on top. You can put this in your fancy um, uh, martinis. A little bit of gingerbread spice on the rim or in the cocktail. Hey, Christine Castle, how are you? We are making our own homemade gingerbread spice right now. So I am going to get started and finish up. I'm going to start with three tablespoons and I'm putting it in my little uh, funnel here. So we are going to start with our uh, cinnamon, but there's not enough left in that one to do this. So I'm going to move on to a new one be e uh, easier to do this on camera. So we're gonna go three tablespoons of the cinnamon and three tablespoons of ginger going in. So, do it like this. Let's see if I can do this neatly with you guys all watching me. So your own homemade spices, like I said, you make your own mixes and then you can have them the way you like them. Do you like a little more ginger like I do? Um, or a little more clove? Then you're set. Two. And so three tablespoons there, the help of my crew. Three tablespoons of cinnamon, and I'll go three tablespoons of ginger. Like I said I bought another one of these two to make sure I had enough. Okay, and that is working away back here. Hold on, let me stir my sugar mix here, because it is bubbling away. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. Okay, that is good, that is ready. So I'm going to pull that off the heat while we carry on here. Okay, so our tablespoon here of ginger. One, two, three. Need a little bit more. But not to worry. I have a backup. I'm ready. Uh, one. Move those things out of the way. Director, move me back in the middle. That was better. Okay. So what's your favorite spice for the holidays? Making our own gingerbread here. Yummy. Okay. 
get going here. Whoops, just spill, spill, spill it. Okay, I thought this would be more graceful, but I'm working on it. Okay, so that's our ginger. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of allspice. A tablespoon of allspice going in. Oh my gosh, yum. And got them open and not open here because I wanted to make sure I had enough. <laughs> So a tablespoon of allspice going in, and I may need to get a bigger jar once I mix this all up. Okay, allspice, and then nutmeg, three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So let's keep going here. Okay. Yes, so my sister is an allspice, we got the allspice going in, and then, uh, the nutmeg, hold on, that was the nutmeg, I just did, did that again, now pepper, okay, fresh ground pepper, so I thought that was a really cool surprise ingredient to our homemade um, gingerbread spice, and it said freshly ground, so you can see I'm measuring it very carefully, and it wants three quarter of a teaspoon into our jar here, so this is going to be so yummy. So I need to grind away here. Definitely freshly ground. Green. Working on my biceps here. Okay, so I'm gonna put all this into here because I need more room to mix it. So you guys can see. Got our cinnamon, all the rest of our spices, including the freshly ground pepper, which I thought was a really cool little surprise ingredient in there. And then half a teaspoon of cloves, which I have kind of Made a little bit of a mess in front of me, haven't I? Oh well, can't make a cake till you break a couple eggs, right? And half a teaspoon of cloves, okay. So, there we go, homemade gingerbread spice. Yum! Directors know I'm gonna move all my things here, okay. Now I'm just gonna use my stir stick here and stir this up, and then I will refill my jar that was pumpkin spice, but now it's gonna be gingerbread spice. So we have it to use um, for all kinds of things for the holidays. But I would, first thing that comes to my, to my mind is pancakes, waffles, muffins, coffee, cocktails, uh, hot chocolate, anything you want to put a little zhuzh of holiday, you are set. And then I will put it in my bottle and we will have a little more and find another little bottle and then we can give it away, huh? We, that could be a giveaway. Okay. So, I will move on here, I'm going to move some, some of my mess here, and then I will make our gingerbread. Okay, so now I'm going to get our bowl here, with pepper. <laughs> All my little jars. If I had my restaurant size, it would be easier, my spices. Okay, so here we go. Here's our bowl, and to our bowl, I'm going to put here, um, into the bowl so you can see. It says to do it in the saucepan, but I'm not going to do it in the saucepan so you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to take our the sugar molasses corn syrup mixture here and put it in this clear bowl so you can see. And get a hold of it so I don't get it all over the place. So into the bowl. And then we have our dry ingredients that my magic hands just finished sifting. Because I like to sift the, co the cocoa, like I said, if you're just joining me. Um, so you don't have any lumps. We don't want any lumps in our cocoa. And so then we have our, I'm going to take our um, baking soda that we mixed in the water, that we dissolved our soda. Let's give that a little stir because I can see we can dissolve it a little bit. So that's going in. This is just the soda, baking soda, dissolved in two tablespoons of water. I'm going to put two eggs here. How are my Instagrammers today? Anyone made chocolate gingerbread before? That does not sound good. That's what I thought. <laughs> Plus this recipe is Nigella Lawson. Oh my gosh, her, re her recipes are so decadent and yummy, just like this one. Okay. So... There we go. Let's get that mixed up. We got our wets in there. Oh, the milk. I have one cup of milk pre-measured here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so yummy. 
And then, I got the whisk out, so I thought we might need to whisk this a little bit to get the eggs broken up. Oh my gosh, the smell! This already smells like gingerbread. The cloves and the ginger and the cinnamon, oh my gosh, delish! Yummy! Smells delish! We got everything in there, the eggs, the milk, her, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I want to make sure I get it all in there, especially when we're baking. <laughs> okay, so, hey Christine Castle, how are you? Are you still there? How are you? What is going on in your world, lady? I saw Sheila last month. We went to DC and I got to see her. It was a blast. Okay, so this is our um, one and three quarters cups of flour and a half a cup of cocoa powder going in that was sifted by my magic hands. And so we are gonna stir that in there. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be something else, just as I imagined it would be. <laughs> hey Shannon, how are you? It's like one of your babies turned 15 this week. We have babies pretty close together. How are you girl? We are making chocolate gingerbread today. We also made homemade gingerbread spice for all of our holiday baking um, uses. So delish. I just ran out of pumpkin spice. So it was time to move on. My homemade pumpkin spice. Time to move on to our homemade gingerbread spice. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so amazing. Like seriously, yummy. Okay, so then to that, we are going to add half a bag of chocolate chips. Okay, we've got all that nicely mixed together and I will fold in a half a bag of chocolate chips. Of course, what kind do we use around here? The best! It's hard, are the best chocolate chips. So we always use these. If you saw my post about my baking drawer, we are fully stocked and ready for holiday baking. And did you know how many chips are in here? If you measured them? Since we've been do doing the show, we have met measured them, and they are 12 ounces of chips in a bag, or it is two cups. So to use half a bag, I'm just going to measure out a cup here so I don't make a total mess. Try not to make a mess while you guys are watching me, and put a couple of those in. And I'm going to put a splash of vanilla, just because I like to put a little bit of vanilla in everything. Brings out the flavor. Um, I can't right now. Um, so I'm going to put just a splash, like a teaspoon of vanilla in there. And this recipe didn't call for salt, but I'm going to put some, because I think it's really important to have salt when you use chocolate. That just brings out the flavor of chocolate. Don't you think, sister? Cool. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here, maybe half a teaspoon, just a little bit, because uh, I think we should have some salt. And then I will stir this in. Oh my goodness. Yummy! Yeah! Oh my gosh. And there we go. And then I'm going to make the glaze for this and show you guys the glaze. That once this comes out, I'm going to cool it on a baking rack laying in a cookie sheet and then we will pour the glaze uh, over this once it's cooled. So I will post a photo of this once we get it done um, here in the comments. And I'll put the recipe down below too. But oh my gosh you guys, seriously, this is again when we wish we had smell-o-vision because it is looks and smells delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay, so my pan here I have prepped is a regular, you know, baking pan. And I have parchment paper in here that I have sprayed with cooking spray, just to be sure we get it out. <laughs> that it comes out cleanly. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Going in. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yum! So I will make the glaze for this, not on camera, but it's a quarter of a cup of ginger ale and some powdered sugar and some butter uh, melted in a saucepan. And then we make a glaze with that and then we will um, pour that over the top. So let me get to my birthday shout outs here. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how yummy that looks. Oh, delicious. And I love gingerbread. 
but I have never had chocolate gingerbread, so we will see how that turns out. So I will put that in the oven and bake it once I'm done here, but I wanted to do our birthday shout outs because we have a bunch today. So our birthday shout out hat today is my reindeer ears, courtesy of Rhonda. So there we go, birthday shout outs today. Our Florence J, happy birthday to you. Susan O'Brien, Stacy Fleming. Stacy, oh my gosh, went on the greatest adventure all over Tuscany with Stacy. Um, tomorrow we have Colleen Morgan. Then my dear friend Kathy Hagman, who's been a guest on the show. It's her birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday to you too. And then Friday, Mark Johnson, happy birthday to you, CEO of J Parr Real Estate Company in Dallas. If you need a realtor, um, we definitely find you one around the Dallas area, around Texas. Um, and then, of course, I told you guys already, Friday is cookie day, so I didn't want to forget that. And our giveaway today, I have two of these, look at this, life is short, lick the bowl, life is short, definitely lick, lick the bowl, uh, life is short, eat dessert first. So here we go, I have two of these cute things. So if you have commented or liked on these videos, they are here on YouTube, our YouTube channel is Ventura Real Estate. Um, they're here on my Facebook page, Instagram. If you have liked or commented here, then uh, you are in the fish. Hey, Laura and Seal, how are you? We made chocolate gingerbread today, and I'm just pulling out our prizes here. Lindy Matheny, business partner extraordinaire. You can always visit us at GaryandLisa.com, your real estate edge for all your real estate needs. And Lindy, my dear, dear friend and business partner for over a decade, is the winner today. How awesome is that? And then also, Rachel Laney is our second winner today of our little signs. Life is short, lick the ball. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we appreciate you guys watching the show. We love doing it. Today is episode number 96. We are on countdown to 100. My sister will be here on Saturday. So if you have any special recipes you want us to make, uh, we will make them on Saturday. We will definitely be making some kind of a cookie on Saturday to celebrate National Cookie Day. And then we will see what else we come up with. So love your DMs. Um, love it when you guys send me your DMs and, and comments. And we love seeing you here live. So for all your cooking needs, you can ask me cooking questions. You can ask me real estate questions. Whatever you need, we'll see you here. Thank you for watching.